All right, welcome back, baby. This is gonna be the next step in how to ink and print your styrofoam. So what are you gonna need? You're gonna need your styrofoam um, with your ins inscribing in it. You're going to need one piece of paper. You should have a total of three with your name and your class on the back. I'm just gonna bring up one right now because all you need is one at a time. You're gonna go up to the printing station where you will have the inking tray, which will look like this. And then beside it, you will have this um, larger tray like that. And basically, you will take some ink and put it onto the inking tray. Not a huge amount. Kind of like that would be more than enough. Then you're going to take your roller, otherwise known as a brayer. And it may have already been like inked a little bit. You just need to make sure that there's enough ink on it. You don't want massive amounts of ink. And if there's too much ink, then just push it forward a little and leave it at the back. And there's a little sticky noise, kind of a tacky noise. That's what you want. And you want it to get evenly on the roller there. And you'll notice that different types of colors have different um, kind of... Uh, there, some will be easier to roll, some will be harder. So you just kind of got to get used to that. Anyway, you're going to put your styrofoam onto this plate um, here. And you're going to roll the ink on there. And you want to get a nice even coating of ink and you're going to need to reapply. Now the idea is that the ink does not go into these holes. It may look like it's going into some of the holes, but it probably still shouldn't be printing. Okay, so I'm gonna ink the whole thing, and as you start to see it get lighter, well that's a sign that you need to get more ink onto your styrofoam. And you can go sideways and around. Right to the edges. A lot of people miss the edges. You may get, likely get ink on your fingers. So this is your notice now to not wear things to school when you have art that would be damaged if you were to get ink on them. Okay, so once I've done that, um, then you will uh, run back to your run. You will walk back to your seat where you have your paper, okay? And you'll have a nice clean area. So let me clear this all off here. We'll go back to your seat and you will lay your styrofoam down and on top of it, the side that is clear, not the side with your name, you'll lay onto the styrofoam so that it fits perfectly like that. And then what you'll do is um, you will take some scrap paper and we do this just in case there's some ink and you will press with your fingers. I recommend starting with the edges and then working your way in and pressing kind of going side to side as if you're like mowing the lawn because you don't want to not press on any parts if you don't press on some parts I'm just going to flip it around now then the ink is not going to transfer fully so I'm going to the edges first because those often get missed and then I'm going to as you can see I'm moving from side to side kind of in a in a straight line to make sure I cover all areas and that's basically it. Then you will simply peel off your print and you will get the resulting what we call impression and you can see it's backwards. And then I'm done. And then I'm gonna take it over to the drying rack and where you will place about four maximum on a rack and then you're done. What do you do after this? You will go take your styrofoam and you will take it to wash it off and you'll go to the sink, wash it off completely Good. Okay, so you're going to take your plate once you're done here, you're going to bring it to the sink, you're going to wash it off, use a sponge to get all the ink off, and then you're going to bring it over to this table over here, and I recommend putting a piece of the paper below, and then putting some of the paper towel above, wiping it nice and dry. And what you'll notice, and this is not a problem, as long as you did clean off the ink, is that there are some black lines there, but that is ink that is actually dried and just kind of attached to the styrofoam now, and you're still fine. So now once you're done this step, you would take this print and go back and get yourself a second piece of paper and do choose a different color from somewhere over here and do print number two. Your prints, by the way, get stacked up here in the dry rack. You'll put them down, you can put them sideways and you can fit four at a time and then just keep moving them down as they get full. 
And that is how you make your print. Thank you. <laughs>